So here's a biometric shaft. I have it already oriented uh, and set in in my clamp to what I've identified as the flow orientation. I have a um, a drill chuck attached to the tip with a laser um, fit within it uh, and a board of with, uh, against which the laser uh, can project what it's doing. So with uh, orientation on the flow line, if I turn off the lights and load up the shaft, Let's see if I can do this with one hand and release it. We can see that it's pretty much orienting in an up and down manner. It's really hard to load this thing one-handed. Let's try it again. That was a better load. Now, if I uh, if I load if I uh, set this thing so that the way the way a builder would traditionally do it, such that the the logo was underneath the club for a right-handed player. It would be set in this orientation, which happens to be right at 90 degrees off of my flow orientation. Um, but if I were to load load the shaft as if we're set in this orientation, we should see not too bad of an oscillation, but not as good as the flow orientation. Do that again. Do that one more time. That didn't feel very good. Well, I guess that's as good as it's going to get. So you can see how it's starting to wobble or create like a more circular pattern. But this gets really good when I set this thing to some random, some random orientation. Check that out. You can see that the, that the shaft is just going in every which way. It's actually trying to align itself in another orientation, but still, still wobbly and circular. So if I stick this thing back in my flow orientation, do this one more time. That was no good. I hit the shaft on the way out. It took a minute because, again, it's hard to load this shaft with just one hand for me and one hand holding the camera steady. But It does wobble a bit in the beginning, but straightens out and then hits a very straight line. So it kind of corrects for my inconsistency in, in how I'm loading the shaft with a little bit of wobble in be, to begin with. There's a good release. And you can see this going straight up and down. So the idea is that you want well, there's controversy as to once you know the flow line, how to set it in the in the club. One thought is to set it so that it is um, pointing towards the target with the mindset that the club shaft is loading on that axis. Um, and so you want you want the the most 
consistent loading of that shaft on that axis, the axis perpendicular to the point that you're impacting the club. You know, and the thought is, you know, in real life, the the club, the the shaft is loading in that direction as you're coming into impact, and so you don't want variance up or down as far as how the shaft is loaded, you know, due to wobble, but that it's coming in at a consistent, you know, that the shaft, you're, you're helping the shaft do his job as much as possible in particular to want to um, load on a particular axis on a more consistent basis.